Hi everybody, my name is Gigi and I wanted to share with you my testimony of how I saw Jesus' face. Um, two years ago, I was visiting a friend, my husband and I, and uh, we had had dinner at her house and um, it was around 11 o'clock at night, we went to bed in her guest room. Well, my husband fell right to sleep and I was very restless, I couldn't sleep. I was tossing and turning. And uh, this was for hours. <laughs> And a light above my head um, was shining on the ceiling right above me. And, and I'm laying on the bed, I'm looking up at it, and I thought it's a reflection of a car that had driven by. So I looked to the left where the window was, and I waited, and no car drove by, drove by. And I looked back at the light, thinking, where's this light coming from? Because that was the only window in the bedroom. And as I'm looking at this light, it starts moving. It literally started swirling um, around and around and it was a misty pastel light. And in this light, it was getting bigger and bigger, bigger. I think it started off being maybe, I don't know, four or five inches. And then it just grew and grew and grew, probably three feet wide. And this light is, is soft and it's pastel and it's colorful and I it almost looks like it's alive because I see little colored particles, um, like specks, and it looked like it was glistening, like it was colored water. It's hard to explain, like droplets of water, but it was moving and swirling. It wasn't just a white misty light, it was swirling. And as I'm staring at this light thinking, where is this coming from? Where, And it's getting bigger through this light the face of Jesus appears like it was a veil of light and his face came through that mist and I just saw his face and he stared right at me legit his whole face and he was smiling so wide like he was l almost laughing and I froze I was in shock I couldn't move Nothing in me said, get up and scream or wake my husband up. I'm just, I'm in awe. I'm just staring at his beautiful face. And I'm thinking, is this a dream? And I know I'm not asleep because the, the fans going on above my head. I could hear my husband snoring. I have my hand on his arm. I'm touching him. I'm wide awake. This is not a dream. And I'm staring at this beautiful face. And it lasted maybe 15 seconds his eyes are mesmerizing. They're, they're like a bluish green and he's got tan skin and a strong nose and a solid jawline. And his hair was um, like we see in the pictures, like dark here, but then a little wavier here, kind of like this style, I think, a little wavy and um, dark but like with honey color also and he just he just smiled at me and I didn't cry I didn't say anything I didn't gasp I just stared at his eyes and I could see every one of his teeth he was like like excited like so happy to see me like I hadn't like I'd never seen his face and it was like the first time he ever I don't know, looked at me or the first time we met eyes, it, it, it was like, um, like a, like a homecoming, like a welcoming, like it's you, it's about time. Hi, you know? And I just, I, I just held my breath. That's basically all I did. I didn't even breathe in and gasp or anything. I just held my breath and I just looked at his face and I, I, I was just speechless. And as quick as it happened, it disappeared. I didn't see his body. I didn't see what he was wearing just his beautiful face, every one of his teeth, his expression, how his eyes squinted when he smiled. And it's like he disappeared behind the veil. And then the mist got smaller and smaller and smaller until eventually it just disintegrated. It just disappeared. And it was gone. And I didn't know what to do. I got out of bed. I snuck into the living room 
and I just, I had my phone with me and I remember um, sitting on this chair in the corner of my friend's house and it was, everything was black. She had a little nightlight on in her living room, but everything else was dark and everyone in the house was sleeping. And um, I rem something told me, um, look at the time. So I looked on the microwave time in the kitchen and it said 311 and something in me said, remember this time because the numbers are significant. And I don't know why I had that feeling, but it was such a profound feeling that I, I made a mental note. Do not forget this time, 311, it's 311. Um, anyway, I, I got my phone out and I wanted to see if other people had seen his face as well. and. I wanted to see if someone could find his image online and maybe shared it in a YouTube video because I wanted to compare what they saw to what I saw. And uh, because his image was nothing like um, the image that I had in my home growing up, um, it was different. It was, it was modern and it was alive. Anyway, um, so I, I couldn't sleep anyway, so I was up for another two hours on YouTube and I was reading everybody's testimonials about how they've seen Jesus's face and um, people were posting some images and it just wasn't anything like I saw. Um, then I Googled uh, the meaning of 311. There are some weird significant things about 311 that I found. I don't know if it applies to me. I don't know if it's true, but anyway, um, I I read something about an angel number. 311 means your guardian is watching over you. Um, it was very profound to me. It was, there was, a, someone suggested it might be, later on I told some people, they suggested it might be a verse in the Bible. So I looked up Revelation 311 and it said something about hold on tight to your crown. And then there was one Ruth 311 that said something about a mother's love. Anyway, Fast forward, I finally, like at five o'clock, I finally went back into bed and fell asleep. Well, I woke up the next morning, my husband and I said goodbye to our friend and we left. And as soon as we got into the car, I told him what happened. He thought I was crazy. <laughs> I'll just never forget. He's like, that, that's not how this works. This is, um, you know, that spirit doesn't show their face. It's a feeling, it's a spirit inside you. It's the Holy Spirit. Anyway, I dismissed him because I know what I saw and I don't care if he believes me or not. That I don't care. So um, I got home and I couldn't stop thinking about it, obviously. So I start uh, Googling images of Jesus Christ and I'm looking and I can't find anything that depicts what I found. But then I get to this online. I'm gonna turn the phone around so you can see what I'm looking at. This is what I see online. It's a painting of Jesus reaching through the water towards you. And it's actually called the hand of God. I've done some research on it and it was painted by um, a Christian artist in Korea. Um, his name is Young Sung, Young Sung Kim. And I was drawn to that beautiful artwork. It spoke to me. And as I was going through Everything else he painted, I found this. Let me pull it up for you. So I'm researching, researching him. And this is what pops up. That's what I saw. Even the perspective of him looking downward like that to me. And if you could see over here, it's pastel blue and there's green and pink and then there's yellow. And I saw every one of his teeth and I didn't see what he was wearing. This is exactly what I saw. Um, his wavy hair. Um, that's exactly what I saw. And I was so, I was so drawn to it that I, I actually bought it. This is what I bought. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I had it framed and what's amazing also is the name of this painting. Let's see if I can show you. 
This is the name of his painting. I hope you can see it. It's Joy. And Joy is my middle name. <laughs> so I thought that was beautiful. Um, anyway, my life hasn't been the same since I, since I saw his face. And uh, for the last two years, I've been trying to figure out what does it mean? What does he want from me? Is he happy with me? Is he trying to tell me something? Um, does he want me to spread the word, which I've done, which I'm doing now? Um, it was it a, a sign of things to come? And I think it was because this happened on April 19th, 2019. Today is October 28th, 2021. And when this happened to me, two weeks later, my mother passed away. She had a stroke and it was her fourth stroke and she passed away. I never did get a chance to tell her about how Jesus came and saw me. And uh, I was hesitant. I didn't tell anybody when it happened, just my husband, not even our friend that we stayed with. I didn't tell my sister. I didn't tell my mom and dad. I didn't tell anybody. I thought people would think I was crazy or hallucinating or sleeping because I'm not a, I don't know, I'm not a Christian who evangelizes a lot. I, I don't, I don't spread the word. I don't spread the joy. Maybe this was a sign for me to spread the joy, but I, I was to myself, uh, with my faith and I wish I had told my mother because a few days after she passed away, um, my sister and I were making funeral arrangements for her and I was sitting at my sister's house on a lawn chair in the, in the, um, backyard. And I had, I had told my sister at this point what, what I had seen. And I had told my best friend, Lisa, what I had seen. And what happened was when I had, um, sitting, I was sitting on the, the chair in the side yard I was on the phone with my friend, my best friend, and I was, you know, crying to her. And all of a sudden, a beautiful cardinal appeared at the foot of my chaise lounge where I was sitting. And it just sat there and I didn't want to move because I didn't want to scare it away. And I told my friend, you're never going to believe what's sitting on the end of my chair. It's a cardinal. It's a red cardinal. And she's the one who had told me before she had heard that a red cardinal cardinal symbolizes the passing away of a loved one because her father had passed away previously and that's what she had heard and told me so I said oh my gosh I can't believe there's a cardinal here and she goes look at the time and when I looked down at my phone it was 3 11 the exact same time that this event had happened and we just couldn't believe the coincidences and I don't believe in coincidences I don't I I think everything is uh, meant to be um it's all predestined. It's all planned out. And if you just are alert and awake enough to see the signs of everything around you, you'll see that everything is linked together. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share this with you and I hope it brings some joy to you. And, um, you know, God is great. He's alive. He's here on earth. He is with us. He was literally watching over me. Um, I feel him. In everything that I do, I, I I speak to him every day, several times a day. He's the last thing I think about when I go to sleep. And in, in the last two years since this has happened, I've had extreme insomnia because I don't want to fall asleep. I want to stay awake because I, I'm hoping to see his face again on the ceiling and it hasn't happened. And I guess I should be happy that at least I got to see him. So many people don't and experience this miracle that I did and, and I should be thankful and appreciative but boy, I just crave seeing him again. It's, it's like a thirst that cannot be quenched. Um, I just feel so blessed. I feel so honored. And I just hope I make him proud. God bless.